A while ago, I had my channel being inspected by a guy called Onision. Uh, he didn't really look at any of the videos, he just kinda saw the latest upload and concluded that I just make GTA shit. I mean, come on, he has much more subscribers than me. That must mean he's more right. So I'm just gonna keep going with that and uh, have at least this video be GTA related. So I'd like to introduce you all to my good boys here, Sting R and his partner in crime, Rangers. Let's see what wacky myth hunting adventures they get in themselves into. University of England, please add that sentence that I just said into the dictionary. It exists now. The first part of the first video actually gets to the point in the entire series real quick, so I'm just going to do the same. Um, I'm not sure how much of this review is going to be me just reading what's on the screen, but I think it's so entertaining that, that that's the only thing I could do. Yeah, it has nothing to do with me being late. The first guitar myth they cover is, uh, of course, the classic Leatherface. Very easy to pull off, take screenshots of, just mod yourself to you know, just be a d hockey mask guy, dude, whatever, and just get a chainsaw. Listen, I don't expect everybody to be a horror buff. In fact, I'm not one myself, but, uh, that's not how Leatherface looks like. Is this made by Leatherface or... I never considered Leatherface to be a wheelchair manufacturer. Some people says if I come into this ghost town between... Wait... Old, old woman with a chainsaw. Um... I think, uh, that's a ghost town figure, not Leatherface. You're kind of jumping the gun a little bit. Here aren't people, so it's... is bus... Well, of course there aren't any people in there, it's a ghost town. What did you expect? Wait, you didn't even, like, spend a minute in there and it's already busted? Moving right along to UFOs, they, you know, start off by showing some fake screenshots. I'm pretty sure I've seen all of these by now. What the fuck? Indian tents? Why are you focusing on the UFOs? I'm pretty sure I've never fucking seen that. Or have I? I, uh, I, I'm really not sure. He also found, like, green lights when he w entered to the Area 69. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was an impressive lighting effect for about a month until Half-Life 2 was released. Well, those two myth are busted, I suppose. Mass graves. These are alien bodies with a crash. Or <laughs> Leatherface. Yeah, everybody knows Leatherface is unique for being multiple bodies in a bag. Wait, 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 that was all one myth? Did you just bust the same myth twice? Bigfoot time already? Yeah, here's another fake pictures. He looks at a couple more fake pictures, mentions that Rockstar says it's fake, and there you go, he's done. He's done. Bigfoot is done. That's it. I haven't seen Bigfoot busted this quickly since... Spooky ghosts. This is nothing you haven't seen before, but uh, let me tell you, if I was younger, and when I was starting to watch these myth videos, the muse, this music would have spooked me. I remember a long time ago I actually watched a video of a guy covering the TV ghost girl thing and he used music from Fear and screenshots of, of like Samara, whatever the fuck her name is. And that was, that was, you know, that's enough to spook me of that myth somehow. But uh, anyway, that's about it. Uh, next, I is the very popular myth maps you know the the infamous maps myth legends speak of the infamous maps yeah okay i get what he was trying to say but he just categorized it weird this fence is couldn't be broken but the same cannot be said about my patience forgive me if i start rapid skipping myths from this point on but this isn't even supposed to be that long of a video so i'll just have to move on to things i really have to say rather than just force making shit up the existing of the bio well come on ghosts come to cj it's foggy night yeah, sometimes he would, like, have, like, a thing that says what the people are saying there in the subtitles. Uh, I don't get it, but it is very entertaining. In GTA Vice City, there was many sharks, but in the GTA San Andreas, it doesn't in. Look at these pictures. What do you think? But well, I don't think much, so. Clowns in the cave? What? Are you kidding me? Why would you even believe that there are clowns in the cave? Are you shitting a fish? Sure, he made a mod that puts a clown in the cave, just to, you know, live the legend, but... Who thought of this in the first place? Yeah, just hit him with the flowers, that will work. Come on, stand up and fight with Mr. CJ. Oh! Uh, he made an Epsilon cult meeting. Uh, I, I just have two questions. What and why? How can you disturb the Epsilon meeting, bro? Brother uncle. Yeah, yeah, just a brother uncle. Oh, you never been called a brother uncle? What are you, new? Step to our chainsaw, brother. There he goes with the brother uncle thing again. We need a new Teneth? What the fuck is a Teneth? Is this a Teneth? Why you fear from good people evil? Could the, not, could the same thing not be said the other way around? This is the weirdest orgy party I've ever seen. Well, I think no, man. <laughs> Why are you wasting your ammo, sister aunt? 
What is what is this? What are these nouns that they keep calling him? Is, is this like a joke or is this like like a translating poorly to English thing? I will never know. This picture was took by a ranger at night from the mountain Chiliad. It looks like an angel and a monster which is looks like a ghost and that ghost attacks the angel. And that confirms Bigfoot footprints. This ranger fella is something else. You are very fortunate to have him. He's a good myth hunter, good companion and friend. Never let go of him. See, look at him, Ranger's already finding new myths. He found a Ghost Rider and uh, he's using Gygus' theme for some reason. I did not know about that. Now, that's a real thing. I'm surprised they didn't hear of it until now. Right after that, Ranger demonstrates the walking underwater myth, which, well, I've known about this one for a long time, but uh, none of the videos I looked at before ever mentioned this, so uh, this is the first time you're hearing me talk about it. If you walk in a certain spot underwater, you can swim there, and then you start like walking on, on the ground. You can even fly a plane in there. And yes, this is real, and it's fucking weird. Ranger seems to know all the good stuff that's, you know, actually true. Anyway, back to thinking people are zombies. I think this guy is blamed for like, at, l at least three myths. I mean, he's just supposed to be some really weird guy, but here he is calling him a zombie. It's like a GTA version of calling someone a witch in the the Middle Ages. Shukoto Fukimiri Kamashira sa? CJ fights like a Japanese man. Why isn't he from Japan? Yes. Horsnick. Horsnick. Horsnicker. Hor Horsnicker. What? This word does not exist. Whatever it is, they couldn't find it, so. I mean, I don't blame him. It's just a texture bug. It looks like a monster if I had too much fantasy. Yes, fantasy, one of my favorite hallucinogens. It's looking like a good place for a wild man. Yeah, that's what I said to myself when I looked at my apartment. Well, that's enough for me today. Uh, I think that I've looked at enough of uh, stuff from our two friends here from uh, 2007 and 2008. The editing and the atmosphere to their videos is, you know, it's ahead of their time, I think. Again, it's 2007, 2008. Usually people were using like Windows Movie Maker, blue background, white text, X-Files theme. So Sting R and Ranger, they get an A-plus thumbs up, five stars. Well, that's it for me today. Uh, look forward to my new video in the year 3009.